Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to kind of expand on what we learned about in percents, and we're going to talk about something related, and that is the topic of ratio and proportion. Percent, if you remember, is just comparing a number to 100, so we have to write that fraction that way. Now we're going to kind of broaden that a little bit, and we're going to talk about the bigger picture, and that's the topic of, of ratios, okay? Let's say you have... Um, Let's say you have two pens and five pencils. So in your hand here, you have two pens. In your hand here, you have um, five pencils. So the question is, what is the ratio, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute, of pens to pencils, okay? So let's figure that out, okay? You have two pens and five pencils, okay, in your hands here, okay? What is the ratio of pens to pencils? Well, the way you write this down, and, and I, you don't, I know you don't quite understand this just yet. We'll get there. You say you have 2 colon 5, okay? What this means is this is the number of pens, and this is the number of pencils. So it's really nothing special. You just put this, this symbol in the middle. It's a colon, okay? And then basically all it means is this many pens corresponding to this many pencils, okay? That's all it means, okay? Now you can also write it as a fraction, and that's really the much more common way to do it, okay? you can write it as a fraction. Because you have two numbers here, you could have a 2 on the top and a 5 on the bottom. And this number is the pens, and this number corresponds to the pencils. What it means, okay, what it means is that for every five pencils, okay, that I find in a drawer, let's say, I think that I should find two pens, okay? That's what, the, that's what a ratio means, okay? For every five pencils, I should find two pens, okay? If I were to pull ten pencils out of the drawer, okay, ten, not five, but ten, so I would double this, okay, how many pens do you think you would find? Well, if I pull five pencils out and I expect to find two pens, then if I pull ten pencils out, ten, then I think I probably should find four pens, okay? Because I'm doubling everything. I pull twice as many pencils out, so ten pencils, okay? I should find twice as many pens. So what this is telling you here, this, this ratio is what we call it, is it's kind of telling you how many of something you have compared to how many of something else, okay? In this case, it's pens and pencils, okay? So any fraction that we've written up till now, remember we were multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting fractions and all that, any fraction is really a ratio. It's a top number compared to a bottom number. In this case, we're, we're putting labels on it, pens and pencils. It could be cars and trucks, it could be apples and oranges, it could be any two things you're comparing, okay, when you have a big bucket of them, okay, and you want to find out how many oranges, if I pull 10 oranges out, how many apples do I expect to get out, that kind of thing. And so this is exactly what, what a, um, a ratio is. Now let's, let's pick another ratio, okay, let's kind of get a couple more examples. Let's say you have, in a, in a room, you'll say you have two women, okay, and 10 men. Two women and ten men, okay? What is the ratio of women to men? The ratio of women to men. Well, it's two women to ten men. Just write it like this. Two colon ten, okay? That means that there's two women for every ten men, okay? For every ten men, okay? Now, you can also write this as we said before, as a fraction, you can put the 2 and the 10 like this. So 2 women for every